have went so far as to come up with sound effects to make it seem like something is at my house that's not. I mean, technically there could be a, there's a, well, you know, we don't need to get into all that. I'm not debating that name with anybody. And if I, if I let them know that I know, then it'll just be, they'll try to make it a never ending debate and constantly, uh, say I'm lying or making it up, whatever. And I don't, I'm not getting into that, but. It made sound effects because damn the way he, he set the story up he said one time on his live he could swear while he obsessively stalked and watched me day after day after day for the past six seven months now since he's been on the the job i guess is what you call it i don't know what else to call it Uh, where is all right? That's there, but there's that. Tell me, I still got the other one. I hate misplacing shit. Yes, okay. Oh, I'm good. I ain't got nothing to worry about now. Although I would like to know what happened to it. Sometimes you just don't know. You can't find out. Hey there, Boogaloo. -boo. I know I got off what I was talking about. Y'all just have to give me a second. Something that piqued my curiosity. All right. Got to be thrown more than likely. That's there. That's there. All that's there, I ain't, I ain't got nothing to worry about. All right, so I really ain't done nothing but just throw away that container. Okay. All right, well, now back to what I was talking about. So, you could swore that he could hear like a, a rocking, cocking type sound or something in the live stream. Someone told me what, what he did was he, he said that to set that up. So that later on when they released what they think it is and went over it, whatever live they did that I didn't see, people really believe it. And I don't think the person's lying that much because I've had people say it in chat like it's supposed to scare me. There is not a fucking gun at my house, all right? So if any of you wanted to do me harm, you'd... I mean, other than the bat and all the other objects I have at my disposal, I mean, you you don't have to worry about no lead. <laughs> you know, that's the only reason why I ever started and was wanting to uh, get back in the groove of, of the Second Amendment and stuff and get off this medicine so I could defend myself. I don't like a bunch of fucking weirdos on the Internet putting out my information. And you do it, and you call it, you know, your property, and you do what you as you wish. You're fucking sick, man. All of you are. But no, there ain't no pew pew here. So, if that was one of your ideas of this three days of hell, what do you think? Because, see, Jackie also said before, federal prison. Like, alleging that I'm going to go that way. 
And if it's not that, then it's the Alex Rosen trying to frame me as a predator type thing. And if you think I'm going to go to federal prison for something I definitely don't do, I mean, yeah, at one time, uh, you know, everybody knows uh, in the past uh, everything I've talked about. I've never been coy about it. I, I've been blunt, honest about it. So, you know, I don't see how you try to take from that clear bullshit, which I got the proof of and proved that it was. I don't see how you make a leap from that to go from seeing me review people that catch predators online and you somehow think that there's something weird about that, something that's that's on the nose you can't figure out, and oh, you done finally figured it out. You think I watch those people because I'm trying to figure out ways to beat it. That was what they said. I don't even like doing this, but I'm going to say hypothetically, let's, let's, as a thought exercise only, hypothetically say, what if that was on the on the right path or mark and correct or whatever? I don't know what you think I'm going to watch from a vid that's posted for everyone to see, including potential predators or people that may be. Pre I don't know what you think I can watch in there to try to figure out, like, that's so dumb and malicious to say that. I obviously watch the videos and you've seen me lecture about some of the people caught and what they've been caught for. And you think I somehow am putting on a whole act after all of the reviews and stuff I've done on people like that? Get the fuck out of here, dude. If you do, I don't, I mean, I don't want you in my chat. I don't want to talk to you, you know, turn your, your, uh, suspicions in, have me investigated. And when it's cleared, you know, hopefully then you'll fucking finally realize. And if not, well, then you never cared to in the first place. You just wanted to try to frame somebody for something, which I'm about 99.9% .9 sure it's exactly what filthy fusion and the higher bunch want to happen. Hey, yeah, what's up, bird? Ain't nothing happened. No, nah, I'm just wondering, uh, you know, what the hell is three days of hell is? They said that, you know, I'm going to, their people are going to see square in a state they've never seen him before. How? How's that? I mean, the only thing I can think of is the things I just went over and listed. And like I said, if they came right now with a fucking warrant and busted this door open in five seconds from now, you would not find a shred of anything illegal or uh, anything I'm not supposed to have access to. So, five seconds, three days from now, hell, a year from now, anytime you think about doing it, it'll be the same result every time. No, the three days of hell is supposed to be not just Bird, Eugene. It's supposed to be all of us. Supposedly, he put on his community post that Gene was far. But, I mean, he had made it sound like in the stream that the whole time they were going to be doing shit to me, too. So, but, yeah, technically, he did mark Gene to be for today, whatever that means. And I want to be on top and aware of it. People may not want me talking about it or giving it any attention. But y'all, that old nonsense of ignoring fucking threats from people you know to be credible that have acted out on them before, you know, it ain't the time to try to take the higher road and ignore or nothing. You need to document, log, and be on top of. That's why I'm live right now. I was going to go live today. Because I want to be alert. When, if anything comes to through the loop. Plus, because of Labor Day yesterday, uh, we ain't got something going on where it should be, so I ain't got nothing to do today, really. I helped out this morning with some stuff with my granddad, and he just went to go spend 
some money on something and whatever. And uh, I mean, yeah, I ain't got much going on at all. So I went live. I did get me some edibles and some non-shake weed, you fucking dumb fucking bastards. <laughs> Talking about I got that shake weed. Motherfucker, you, you, you tell me if some illicit cannabis, which goes for around 40-something bucks an eighth, is coming in at 28%. Not indica hybrid, but full indica. And is violet fog. Look that up. Oh, no, I take that back. It is indica hybrid. Still, though, violet fog. Look up Bubba Fett or Florida Kush. Those are the three I got. You know. Thank God for weed. I'd probably still be taking Ativan right now if it wasn't for it. That's a fact. Because these motherfuckers can't leave nobody the fuck alone who wants to be left alone. People like this that exist and run around on YouTube to find people to do this to and make and call their content, this is their pastime, tormenting others. They create a very real danger, not just for us or anybody that's connected to us or what have you, but for anybody that will eventually come on this platform and try to do anything or have a channel. So it's not purely, purely, it, it's not a selfish gesture bringing to light this shit. Because just like the, the predators hanging out on here that, you know, when I learned about and said, you know, if I came across one of them, I would expose them. And fucking Scooter took my words out of context to make it seem like that I was just trying to get close to people to expose them, no matter who they were, or if they hadn't done anything. Yeah, I remember that, Scooter. Well, that's what I was talking about. I didn't come on here to troll. And these people that think calling other human beings cows and they're superior, you know, I, I don't care if the person is somebody like, you know, books or, or whatever. I, I don't care what they've done. Like, I mean, they've done something illegal and you want to bring that to light. I, I got no issue with it. Um, That's not the case with me, though. They're, they're not uncovering stuff they are catching me up and doing that's illegal online or anything they're not doing anything close to that they're tormenting and trolling there's probably over a hundred lives of them talking about it more than five lives of filthy saying his goal is to break me mentally that's not fucking entertainment uh, you can stick a sticker on there and say this is for entertainment all you want it doesn't mean it's for entertainment it's like me putting up a sign at a fucking trap house saying, hey, guys, 5-0, this is not a trap house, I promise you. There's no need to go in here and look at it. Everything done here is purely lawful business and legal only. That's what the fuck y'all doing. Now, if you got on the lives or something and you, I don't know, pretended to call, but didn't actually call and didn't actually fuck with my life, I, I would have ignored it by now because you wouldn't be making any real effects on me. Unless I'm watching it and then it would just be in my head. Y'all have faked some things just to try to get me going and laugh. But you ain't faked everything. That stuff you said to and about Army's daughter, you didn't fake that.
Hey, uh, stir it up. That 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 may not be true. I may have messed up on a live and uh, attacked somebody or something. I, I'm not saying that. You're saying that. But I'm not acting like a fucking criminal. Let me make sure pe some people that I want got wrenches, have wrenches in here. I'm going to drop the link. People want to come up, I invite them. It's people that plan to perpetrate more malicious acts. Want to come up? Hell, I'm even saying they can. Let's see. Spokesman, I'll unblock. No, V, I, I don't need you. No, uh, if I let you up here, here's the thing. I didn't ever tell you I had a house number, dude. You see, you're coming up around now because you think it's been long enough that I'm not going to remember everything because you think I got out of band memory holes. It ain't like that, buddy. I know what you fucking did. There's no other. There is no other explanation. I know that 99.9999999%. So you might be let up, but doesn't mean I'm going to believe anything you say. I'm not. Because ain't nobody ever gave you a fucking house number, and I never gave you a text now number. Now, if you got fucking trolled or tricked by somebody else, which I don't see how when I gave you my own number the day that I fucking paid you back. It wasn't AI, it wasn't robotic voice, it was yours. All right. Other than the call that I made that got, gave you my new number where you reminded me of the 50 bucks, other than that call, you produce a call. All right? Because don't, don't try to fucking play that call from that day. I mean, it ain't, ain't going to work, dude. I didn't do shit to you. Nobody told you to send me anything on my birthday. I did ask for the thing in July. I paid you back. Um, we were supposed to get back with each other, uh, I believe, at the beginning of August. That didn't happen. Well, you finally did come around and reach out to me when my number was changed in August. And my number wasn't changed because I was fucking avoiding you. How do you produce the call other than the call log? I'm talking about a recorded call. And you can fake a call log. V, you talked about suing me for nothing. Like, do you really think I believe you, dude? I, I know what you were used for. Yeah, Kerry, he seems civil. That's the whole that that that's been their biggest troll on me this whole time is having people to get me to believe that I think they're on my side. No, V, I don't record fucking phone calls from people that I don't think are fucking with me. Now, if you were fusion or somebody else calling, yeah, I would have recorded it. So now we get the truth. You don't have any of the so called calls from a text now number reported or nothing. That ain't gonna work, man. Andrea didn't give my number out. They didn't get it any other way, Carrie. Those were the only two people that had it. Now, what sense would it make for Andrea to do it after all them people have done to that one? She didn't do it. I'm going to get the fuck slapped out of my mouth. Well, Kyle, 
because I think that's you, Kyle or Caparo. Bring your big ass on, bitch. What sense does it make? Let's see. You didn't get kicked out over there. You were over there. You, out of nowhere, after getting paid, decided to start after I, after they got that number from you and put it out. And I said what I said. Instead of being defensive, you went on the offensive to try to make me feel bad some way by saying that I called you with this and lied to you about that and blah, 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 and work you verse. You were right about him and all that. If that's how you really felt, why the fuck are you here? Because you were as right as rain and sure as rain that I, I mean, you didn't lie, did you? Because you said that I gave you a number that was my house number and told you that. But I haven't had a house number since we moved out the last house. Everybody knows I've never used text now. Everybody that's ever had my number, KC, third. Hell, even people like people from over in Workyverse know that I've never had a text now number. Never. Are you really trying to say that based on one observation of speech patterns or body language that you can tell someone's lying? Because you know real body language experts don't even try that pseudoscience bullshit. Because what one person does in one situation may be an indicator of deception. But in a completely opposite person, it means non-deception. So shut the fuck up. You took a course. Yeah. Something tells me you didn't take the courses I did. And I took courses made by experts backed by Dr. Phil. See, V, that's what I'm saying. I never said to you at all anything about a home number. Naughty, shut up. Oh, Carrie, I got what you're saying. You don't have to leave. I'm not getting on to you, Carrie. I'm sorry. I apologize if you think so. I, I get what you mean now. You're saying he's civil enough to talk. I got you. You don't have to leave, but if you want to, I understand. All right, uh, JM's popping up in the back here, so can Bird or somebody come up here? I, I ain't been the, I, I ain't talking to this dude one on one because, you know, I don't feel safe by it. The device ain't connected. Boss Lady Bird, are you still in here? I'll give Becca a wrench. I don't have to take yours. You wish weed was legal there. You'd get off Xanax. Dude, I wish it was for you too. But if you're on Xanax, you, I mean, just like I had to do a taper with the Ativan, you, you need to do a, a taper on that whenever you're ready to get off. Don't try to just quit or quit on your own. Trust me. All right. I mean, now if you're taking it and it, 
helps panic attacks or anxiety and you don't think you can go without it or your doctor doesn't feel like it's doing you any harm, I would, I, you know, I, I wouldn't just get off it just because it's Xanax and it's got controversy to it. You know, that, that's the problem. We got, we got all these people, virtue signal that want to, they want to help everybody else, right? They want to help us all and tell us the right things to avoid stuff they went through. But that that's a folly. I mean, just because you were prescribed something that had a challenge with it doesn't mean always somebody else is, you know. I mean, I never had an issue with benzos other than getting, like, you know, to the point where your body is dependent on them. Dependence is not physical addiction. I, I just had a fucking medication paper I read the other day out of boredom. And it straight up said that in the medication information. And that's something I used to always say. And these other people would make fun of me, give me shit about it, you know. Trying to say that I'm just saying that because I'm basically a legal addict. Well, I mean, I used to be a legal addict when I was taking right for opioids and going to a pain clinic, I guess. Once I got to the point where I was taking what I wanted to and I didn't care. Yeah, I was in a, I was actively addicted at that time. No fucking doubt about it. Now ain't nobody gonna come up here. I gotta deal with this dude. Did I figure what out, Snaggy? Not really. If you're if you're talking about what I think you're talking about oh shit, I just hid you. Hold on. Let me unhide you. Oh, there's Rebel. What's up, Rebel? What up, sir? How you doing? Not much. Thanks for coming up here. Oh, I, you welcome. I just see where you was live. Yeah, how you doing, dude? Oh, Hold on, right. Snaggy. Let me unhide you. I'm trying to oh, give you a... Uh... I'm missing two teeth. Oh, oh, you snag, snaggle tooth. Uh, no, Snaggy Harpoo. Oh. I ain't got no issue with him. No, I thought that's why you, you called me Snaggy. You thought it was funny because you called... Be no, no, no. No, no. Snaggle too, Snaggy. I snaggy I did the watching the work. Snaggy the watching snaggle the work. Nah, I don't know if that's what it. No, that's not why. I don't think that's why his name is that. But I unhit him. Um, it, I accidentally done it. You should be a mod now, though, Snaggy. I remember Shaggy. He did him was a stoner, and um, I always had them Scooby snacks to give out to Scooby. And Rebecca, I believe I uh, took care of. You ever yeah, you too. Them, they were always them high and paranoid because they was like, oh, they was you, they were always fucking scared of some ghosts and shit, weren't they? Who? What are you talking about? Scooby Doo and Shaggy. Yeah, I, I didn't. I mean, I watched some of them growing up, but I didn't really, you know, I, I wasn't that big in Scooby Doo. Dude. Well, no, so I, I think the uh, implication is that, like, Shaggy, like, that's that's why he, he was called Shaggy and had the mystery machine van, you know, to resemble yeah, a stoner. Smoky as fuck in the van. Yeah, I, I think they had wrote that in. I, Scooby, Scooby Snacks, yeah. I think it was, I think it was. Eating like hell, man. They had the yeah, I think, it, I think it was subtext. Which, if you know what that is, that's like when a movie puts a theme underlying and in a movie specifically to show that, you know, it's called subtext. You know, it's like Easter eggs and stuff. But, yeah, I, I think that the writers that wrote wrote it had wrote it for that reason, why they wrote Shaggy like that, if I'm not mistaken. Do you think you're saying the writers were stoners? Well, I think that they, the, I think that. I think they pictured that, that Shaggy would have been a, a stoner, you know, if he was real. And that's why they gave him a van, the talking dog, and all that goofy shit. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Thank you, Kara. Yeah, I wanted to come up because Jam wanted to come up. You know, these people are still trying to say I'm their property. It's like naughty. You know, he oh, said down there, dude, like, I declare dude, this dude, chat dude, and its dude, content. Dude, now, you know, if anybody would know anything about them owning another man's property, that, that would be racist and racist as fuck. Now, you know, that's what the rebel would come in like, okay, if I'm being called racist and these motherfuckers want to be out here owning another man, like, Wait a minute, hold up, hold the phone, like. Yeah. Yeah, I know. saying you property, like, that's racist and very, very, very hypocritical. <laughs> yes, I find it very hypocritical. Dagburn, Johnny Goble, wow. Wow. Yeah, but Johnny don't know nothing of what it's like to them, like ever own an American made muscle car, like to ever run from the law, like them good old boy Duke boys after running some shine, and then you got the boys in blue out there fucking with you, like damn, uh, god dang, Jack Burn, uh, fucking Roscoe and Cletus, and damn, uh, old Barney Fern. See, man, we grew up from, like, that's how NASCAR was invented down in the Carolinas, man. Running moonshine. Yeah, running moonshine. Running moonshine. What are you trying to do, Jay, and make fun of fucking, uh, Rebel? Do what? You trying to make fun of Rebel? What are you talking about? You said moonshine. Maybe you said running moonshine. Running moonshine. That's what they were doing. Yeah. Was that all they ever did, Rebel? Yeah, but they would run from the law, though, man. But even the yeah, I know that. I know that. I know that Johnny over there. Look, they right there. Trying to say, you know, well. Given oh, shit. being like, well, you're gonna get a felony because you ran from the law like 10 years, 20 years ago. Yeah. Like, I won't ever get up there, to her. I'm gonna be gone. That was a dope. I mean, you must not never ran from the law, but he's I, well, we know he hadn't, but and, and I mean, I, I hadn't, I ain't never wrote, ran from the law. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you owned a muscle car. You grew up in the 90s. I mean, you, you might have raced title for title. Maybe you would, maybe you would, see, this was all you had to grow up before damn social media like existed. Yeah, and punch it at the I don't know where she went. I don't tell him. Oh, yeah. And you end up leaving with somebody else's car. Hey, how loud is, is the four wheeler too loud? I'm mute. No, I mean you're just a little loud. That's all. Uh, it's my earbuds. Oh yeah, I know. Ain't no big deal though. It ain't that loud. Uh, Damn, she went. Well, hey, what you talking? What you talking about, man? Because we got like three different conversations going on. Oh, I was talking about from back in the day. Damn. I know you was talking about the rebels and stuff. I, I got you. Um, yeah, they like visiting others. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't lie square. <laughs> Hell yeah. Chris is disrespectful. Y'all to make a shirt about that. <laughs> he seen Moses' shirt where it said, you break your bar. They out here, they've got me on a shirt square, and they selling it. Oh, they got you they on a shirt? They a pretty good penny for their damn hoodie. I know. Hell, Scooter Beggins is selling hoodies of me with my picture for 20 bucks. <laughs> I want my fucking well, cut. Don't want you dead in. <laughs> yeah, I think it's hilarious. I don't. I think it might be a little funny when, if people ever get a bill for that shit. I did. That's why I think it's hilarious. 
Yeah. yeah. They, they think that the they... Court. You're going to have to deal with a whole bunch of court shit. <laughs> yeah. It may take a while, I mean, you know, but they don't plan on stopping anytime soon, apparently, so, I mean, all right. I think it's a game. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna keep giving me a uh, plenty of time. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. Was it you, JM? You here? Oh. Yeah, he's here. I'm... Yeah, they are twenty bucks. The one I looked at was. How are you gonna tell me what I looked at this morning? Man, you got some Nazis. They were trying to tell me what to listen to. Tell me what to believe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me believe seriously, some people you know, that. Seriously, man. Yeah, let I me mean, believe some people. Let me believe some hey, people that don't give a shit about me. I didn't have license. That I didn't drive. But it didn't work. Have a job. So much different shit, man. Then I look at Adam Calhoun just made a video. Hell Up Church just made a video. They talk, even talking about it. How their uh, fuck boy turned to fan boys overnight. Of like all the shit they've been through. Where people would try to slander them. Yeah. I know you what you mean. That? You don't keep up with that? I, I haven't kept up with too much of it, no. James back. Uh, first day of hell is going all right, Snaggy. I mean, uh, like I said, I, I ain't got the... I mean... I don't know what, what, how it could be hell, you know. Did you say anybody could come up, Square? Why? Who's wanting to come up? Okay, Scooter messaged me asking if you'd unblock him. I just didn't have a chance to say anything. I got well, kicked I out. Mean, I got shitty service. I mean, y'all, y'all are, y'all are on a mission to break me mentally so I mean I don't know why I would do that I mean I'm not doing nothing I don't even know what's been going on because I've been out of state why would you want to break someone mentally Jam? I mean I don't I don't know what because even when that's what... went at you about your daughter and wearing skin and all that he was trying to break you mentally or something that's exactly what he was trying I mean, to do he was trying to fuck with him back yeah, so I mean, when someone yeah, I mean, say, like, you can't deny that's what he was doing. I mean, that, I mean, I mean, you can say that you don't know if he would ever no, actually like, carry out on the threats, but first and foremost, he was saying it just to make you mad. Why is it okay for one, but not okay for another? <laughs> it's okay for neither. I mean, you it, got I mean, retaliation it's, it's for an opposite action for every opposite reaction. So. Explain Rebel, you've been, I mean, Rebel, you've been drinking. No, no, man, and that's the thing. They, they think that people think that damn well you've been drinking. You've been drinking. You drink every day because you drink. Something's wrong with you because you drink. Well, you got rat brain. Yeah, you like to get your brain wet, don't because, you? They, they, hell, it, it, even even when damn you tell you <laughs> that I damn taught damn Ozzy how to swim, like got me over there with Ozzy. That's legendary shit. Okay. You talk shit about Ozzy, but Ozzy, I mean, is a legend. Oh, you talking about Ozzy Osbourne? Yeah, supposedly. You got yeah. a fuck boy, fan boy, that fucking them got me over there saying I damn taught him how to swim. Taught Ozzy how to uh, swim. Then them no word, um, swearing words and shit, and I don't even damn... I don't even sit there and then get on here and then be like, oh, 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 oh. how much you know about Leonard Skinner? You know a lot about him? You know where they crashed? Hey, Rebel, you know about Leonard Skinner? 
I mean, do you know where they crashed at? Answer him, uh, Rebel. He's trying to talk to you, son. Rebel, you there? Yeah, yeah I'm here. I'm just. He said, do you, he I'm said, do you know where Leonard here. Skinner crashed? Why are we here for JM? Dude, what do you haul? Oh. You haul around dead people. I mean. I, I just well, asked a question. I, I mean, I'm just asking a question. I'm letting yeah, him up here, man. Let's not. Drunk let's drunk not. Drunk what are you talking man. about? Man, we know. You what fucking does, drunkard. Bro. I mean, you're always riding around them. On, on the internet, we're riding around. I'm riding around on the internet. I don't know. You can't ride around on the internet. It takes a web browser to get on the internet. You can't ride around on it. Did you just pull over? Come on, just, 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 just pull up. What? I mean, you just pull over and park and get on the internet. I mean, well, that's my business. Where you get on the internet is your business. I don't. I don't come trying to tend to your business, do I? Doesn't sound like a good employee. I mean, it sounds like I've been employed for two years with this company, and they ain't said nothing about it yet. They're not going to. Apparently, just everybody's up in somebody's business. I mean, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the I way of the world, ain't real. it? I mean, damn, me and Square go live, and then hell, we get to put on a t-shirt. Damn. I mean, yeah, that's. We got fuck that's the way of the world. The yeah, you're oh, come on, you're, JM. You're that's not the way of the world. Fans. You got drunks that try to do live streams and can't figure out how to work StreamYard. Damn. We know how really, man? Well, I mean, if he's going to bitch about me doing shit, I ask a simple question. So, anyway, my, my point was I'm two miles from where Leonard Skinner's plane went down. That's where I'm at. Yeah, he's just trying to talk, I mean, and shoot the shit. But if he wants uh, to be an ass, I can be an ass, too. I was just trying to be friendly, carry on a conversation, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what that was what already to let's be with. Like really <clears throat> that's what yeah. like it just it's just it's what it's like, why well, don't be fake? I don't know why they do a lot of the After stuff they do either. The rebel. Community for so long and you damn you you mean you I mean, shit. I mean, God gives you the ability to know the difference between right and wrong and then the ability to judge between them, uh, you know, them. And totally them look out and be like, okay. Not Rebel, but I, but I am concerned, man, that like, I don't, I don't know, you sound like the, the only reason why I asked you that was because you sound like you, you may have had a couple this morning. That's all I'm saying. Or maybe you got pretty smashed last night and you ain't went to sleep yet. Yeah, no. yeah he, he's a few deep. Yeah. Well, come, I know I'm not. I'm not going at you like JM. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just saying, like, I don't want you to drink so much, man. Like, I, I my dad went through uh, alcoholism, and I, I, you know, I don't want to see that happen to you. Yeah, we got dabs of turkey. Oh, I think it's a little late for that. Man, damn, you're a fucking buzzkill. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Well, I'm trying to talk, you know. I tried being friendly. It didn't work. Remember? I tried with the friendly conversation. He don't want to do that. Hey, they're coming to me. Well, he, hey, he's mad at you. To be, to be quite honest with you, I'm probably being looked at as crazy for fucking being out having you up here and talking to you. Well, hey, he can be mad. I ain't never done shit to him. So we got the same drawers to get glad in. Well, now, Jam, haven't you you messed with him? I know you have. No, not really. Not really. He can't name one thing I've done to him. Uh, well, when he's sober, he can't name one thing I've done to him. All right, now you can't eat the full wheeler. <laughs> Or my phone. Um, okay. I said, or my phone. Yeah. Josie. 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 You got a dog? You don't see it? A dog? No, I can't <laughs> look right now. I'm not. I'm not looking. No. No, it's about eight hands high. 
Dog. Horse. <laughs> Man, she's trying to eat the bars oh. on the four wheeler. Damn, I see the horse now. Damn. She's beautiful. Josie. How many of them apple treats is left? Uh, I think there's still a whole bag. Yeah, we'll go get her some. <laughs> oh, I don't... Man, I got a bunch of shit. I'm going to have to go for it. What are you doing today, Rebel? You got anything going on, dude? You there? Guess not. Guess he's gone. Just now looked and seen he's gone. Yeah, I don't know what his deal is. I didn't try to attack him. No, I get it. In a way, I do. I mean, you have before. I mean, you know, some people ain't just going to be able to put stuff aside. I mean, the last time I had a conversation with him, he was on my panel, and he gave me Ruski's phone number. Well, that's weird. So, I mean, yeah, he don't have nothing against me. He knows it. There ain't nothing he can name that I've ever done to him. Well, you probably, than, I mean, you probably have it. You probably done more than me. I mean, probably. Yeah, I mean, yeah. just laugh, laugh at jokes and shit. That's it. The same as anybody else. <clears throat> yeah, but like the the website, I mean, like all all of that type of stuff is meant to do one thing, and that's demean and degrade and. I mean, you can try to argue and say it's for entertainment, whatever. It's for entertainment at someone else's expense. Whatever. Hey, uh, is Carrie still down there, Carrie? You in here still? I'm not looking right now. I'll look in a second. If you're in here, they'll say hi. You know, I got to clean this shit out this week. I'm going to sit down for now. Let's see who's in the chat. Uh, no, no, no. I didn't see that it was a, do a horse. I was asking because he was saying, come here to something. You know, I thought I was a pet. Really? He lives somewhere depressing? Or it, I mean, I, I'm not asking it to be a, a smart ass, but I'm like, I kind of forgot. Where is it? Uh, yeah, wet brain means drunk. Thinking that dudes is pretty gay. I feel like JM is being friendly, rebel. Yeah. Oh, man. Y'all are going. Y'all got no mercy in there today. Y'all going back and forth. Snaggy and. Damn, Naughty's throwing some. Smoke, ain't you, Naughty? <laughs> Go on that smoke, baby. Man, it's hot and a motherfucker in here today. It's hot, period. Thank you. Yeah, but it, it was cool the last couple days. It rained. Fuck, it's getting hot now. I got used to it being cool there for a while. A couple of days I woke up, I had to have a cover on. Uh, 
Don't be talking about nobody not having a wife. Hell, I ain't got a wife anymore. I'm actually kind of glad, though. Uh, only thing I, I missed some things about it, though. Don't get me wrong. Miss having somebody to be able to talk to. Most of all, spend the time with. Uh, Robert E. Lee, no. Square, have I seen any good movies? Yeah, I've just seen Flight Flight Plan, which is an old movie, but it's been a lot. It's been since I was a kid that I've seen it, and it's got Jodie Foster in it. And I don't know who's seen it, but if you haven't seen it, it's not a bad movie to check out. It came out a few years, um, I'd say six or seven years, like after 9-11 it came out, and it's about a, a, hi, a hijacked plane. Um, and then I saw um, Van Helsing. That, that was a movie I seen when I was a kid, too, but I really didn't watch it and never got into it. But there was a friend of mine that loved it, so I watched it here recently, and it wasn't that bad. Although I guess anything Hugh Jackman does, he's pretty good at, so it'd be cool to be an actor. Some people think it's easy peasy and but it's not requires a lot people that are serious about it get into it when they're as young as they possibly can and they stay in it some people get in later by chance you know uh, yeah. I'll tell you something I watched here recently that wasn't bad. Was uh, I've been watching Oz, which is a HBO show that ran back in the uh, early, late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, some of the people that played in it played in The Wire. And it, it's pretty, like, I, I, like, the show explores, you know, life topics and things in real life. And uh, I think it was pretty, I've seen it before, obviously. I'm watching it again, but I think it was, uh, or I think it's a really good show. My mom wouldn't let me watch it when I was a kid. I remember seeing uh, commercials for it and stuff, but she wouldn't let me watch it. Because I was probably in second grade when it was being aired on main night television. Smash Mouth singer Steve Harwell has days to live. Damn. Oh, they said he died. Yeah, we're seeing. Damn, it's a that was one day. Yeah, he died. I think he died yesterday evening. Damn, well, the day they came out with that, he died. Shit. Where's the other ones? Oh, they're in the other pasture. This one must be pregnant. Yeah. Pretty. Pretty beautiful. She has a name on her head. Go ahead. Put your hand in there so she ain't got to turn her head. Now get your finger caught. Keep your hand flat. Oh, 
don't hear anybody. Anybody still on? Uh, oh, man, yeah, Bob Barker been dead. Yeah, Bob Barker Bob died Barker. I think a week, a week ago. About a week ago, a week ago. All right, let's see if we can get the other ones up to the fence. Well, you didn't have Come a on, lead, boys. buddy. No, I don't watch for the man Mandingos. Square is oblivious. I, I'm sorry, Snaggy. What are you talking about? Well, that's a young man. Hold on. Let me pull a little closer. Sorry about that. Okay, Snaggy, I got you. The vi the that was just a picture of of a video. I didn't even play the video. It was just a, a picture from I just looked up random porn, dude. Oh, I don't trust him either. I don't worry. Hey, buddy. Whoa, Nelly. Yeah. Oh, damn. I didn't know that, Sugar Nova. Oh, no, I don't want to Sorry, horse, you just hot. Hey, bird. Uh, unblocked spokesman. <laughs> Why? So I can look at a picture of myself all the time when he says "fuck me." You smell tacos and fish. Uh oh, watch it work, you verse. You want to ride later when it cools off? You heard Gene got fired today. Y'all better not be trying to fuck with Gene's job, man. That'd be some fucked up shit. Damn. That would be some fucked up shit you do that. I think JM's got uh, sandals on his socks. I got what? 
you got sandals on your socks. Ain't no, I used to do that. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Uh, who, who no, had I don't know. Somebody, somebody, somebody had them on screen, and I, I started like nagging at them at first, and I was like, "Well, I did that too." You didn't get uh, to hear the rebel yell, well, Bundy. Let me hear your rebel yell. Let me hear your rebel yell. Look at this. <coughs> that wasn't as good as Rebel can do it, I'm sure. Hey, what's up, buddy? Go get Grandpa. Go get him. He's home. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Good boy. Yeah, my feet are white. I don't tan my feet. Sorry. Yeah, who tans their feet, man? Who the fuck said that? I don't know. He said something about somebody said my feet were white or something. Feet just that so, way. Well, they should be white. They shouldn't be purple. Oh no 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 no! Big something. Yeah, I, I I've already talked about all that that I'm going to. I I don't update people on that personal stuff anymore. I said that a while back. I will tell you though, I'm not taking any out of them though. Still, what's up, buddy? Did you get him? Yeah. What's funny? Oh. <laughs> Because I thought they were socks. That's why they you saying they was really white. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't mess with that. That's candy. You don't want any candy. I know, right? That's exactly why he does what you said he does. I know, you're like so right. Well, uh... Listening devices in his shoot? Oh, yeah, he is one of them. I doubt he would actually believe that, but whatever. <clears throat> you can look know. up. Uh, you can look up U.S. patents for mind control, subliminal message devices. There's a lot of patents out there that prove the existence of devices people once said were conspiracy theories. The government does own them. M- MK Ultra was a real experiment. CIA did, you know, stuff like that does happen, whether people want to believe it or not. They just don't declassify it till 50 years later when everybody that was involved is either dead or, you know, in nursing homes and nobody cares about it anymore. Hey. I think it's crazy, but uh, I wouldn't. I don't have any problem with weed being legalized, but like I, I don't see the benefit of legalizing like meth and crack and stuff. I've been hearing a lot of people saying here lately that that's what needs to happen, though, is that they need to legalize that all that stuff and have like regulation with it. Like how? Forget how. Like, do you really want people walking around doing meth legally? I don't think so. I don't. Well, they've already got places that uh have tried legalizing yeah. heroin. Port Portland and places like that. I don't think it's legalized, but it's like decriminalized. It's decriminalized. 
There's places in Europe, though, yeah. You're right. That is legal. I think uh, maybe Denmark or I want to say Amsterdam, Denmark. maybe. Well, Amsterdam, you know, pot's legal, but I don't believe every drug is legal there. No, and the one that, that did heroin, they don't have everything legal. It's just heroin because so many people was on uh, codeine. I think even where opium poppies come from, heroin's illegal. But it's not illegal for them to grow the shit to sell it to people. Huh. We had uh, U.S. troops garden opium poppy fields. Whenever we were in Afghanistan. I mean, that's not officially what we probably was protecting, but yeah. I know some U.S. troops from reading articles did protect areas that had opium poppy fields. So went along with well, the, the job. Chinese started that. The Chinese had opium dens, and then when they started using the Chinese as slaves to build the railroads, that's how they got when they got done with the railroad that's how they got rid of them was they locked them all up for illicit drug use because they were doing opium and opium turned to heroin snaggy yeah, i don't know to be honest with you i really don't i'm interested in what this supposed three days of hell was supposed to be like but i don't guess i'm gonna get any dialogue on it who had that? Well, Filthy supposedly planned three days of hell for Gene, Bird, me, Army, everybody. Oh. Today, Wednesday, and Thursday, supposedly. What's up, Bubba? Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Good boy. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean, Al Bundy. I know what you mean. Although I'm not really working full time, though, so maybe I don't know what you mean completely. Huh. Well, <laughs> bird, snaggy. All you other people. I'm a hypocritical Snaggy. Oh, you ending? Uh, Snaggy, yeah, come hit the link. We'll talk about it, buddy. I'll be back. Yeah, if you want to go talk to JM, you can. Or, hell, I'll let you come up here if you want to come up, Snaggy, real quick. I guess I can. I don't know when I'll. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this is why I don't drink so much. <clears throat> I don't know when I'll be live again. Oh, Phil, but, uh, Doc. Fed, Filthy's on the federal no-fly list, and he's hiding. Damn, JM, is that true? See, I, I don't know. I heard something about it, but I ain't been around. I mean, I've been, I've been gone. That's why I ain't been live. I ain't been live since last week. I hear you. I'm down around uh, our friend Wyatt, down around his area. Oh, well, he's not really my friend. I porn bombed him after he was uh, disrespecting me. Yeah, I'm not dropping him off no white flower or nothing like that. But... Yeah, I wouldn't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, keep running with your narrative, Snaggy. Yeah. Well, we'll see you later. All right, guys. Well, I'm getting off here. Uh, I will see y'all later. Jam, thanks for coming. Everybody else, take care. Peace out. Uh, I don't know why we just had that with Jam on here, to be honest with you. Uh, I was... 
thinking that he was going to have questions for me or something, but it wasn't. It's like he wanted me to talk. Uh, I don't know. But, yeah, I was kind of dead and everything. So, yeah, I was just wanting to know what this three days of hell was supposed to be about and clear the air about this whole gun mess, people think. Like, I'm strapped to the teeth like Tony Montana or something, and I'm about to take over the whole fucking southeastern part of Missouri, you know, calm down, it's not